Hello guys, let's talk today about the e-camera SD card setup. Okay, so I have here an e-camera. It's close to my window, as you can see the image is here. It's live right now. And I have image recorded on my SD card. I can select here the SD card or the cloud. In this case, I'm using the SD card. And when I just move here, you can see that it loads the image from the camera, okay? So I have image during the night with the infrared. The camera was upside down because I was testing it, right? So I forgot it upside down. And here you can see that I have recording for from different days. So I have the 17 here, August 17. And today is the 18th, right? So I have recording until now. As you can see here, 8 something, 8.31 in the morning, okay? So basically I have recording from yesterday, the 17th, until today, okay? So it started yesterday like 4 p.m. So I have 4 p.m. recording until today. So I can't have uh, 24 hours recording on this card because when I was looking before, it was like 3 p.m. Now it's 4 p.m., meaning it's deleting the previous recording, right? You can't have 24 hours recording. Because this card, let me just check here, when you click here to the settings, you wanna see the card here, okay? So when you insert a card in the camera, you need to come here to the settings, and here you can see the SD card recording. And in this case, recording mode, right? It's recording continuously, which means it's going to record all the time. That's why you see the green bar there that shows recording all the time. It's better to record by motion. So you can select here, record detected activity, which is much, much better. Every time there's motion, a camera start recording. When there's no motion, no recording. So you can, your card can last longer, right? And here you see the micro SD card. It's in good condition. The information is there. And here you see 7.43. So if you read here, you see that it uses space for something else. And the total that I have here is eight gig card, right? With eight gig card, I can record like less than one day. So keep that in mind if you're recording continuously. So the best idea here is just change here to record detected activity. Okay, so your card will last longer. And here you can do the settings for detection off or for motion detection. And then you can have your card recording better only when there's some event with motion detection, for example, right? Then let me just come back here to the card so you can see. Then uh, instead of have everything green here all the time, as you can see, you can have just small portions of recordings. So right now, for example, nothing is happening there. So there's no reason to record this, right? And uh, let's say during at 6.30 in the morning, 6.10 in the morning, nothing was happening there. So I have no reason to be recording all the time. I need to record only by motion. So that's the best idea. And you can also see here the SD card. When it's installed, you can see this icon here is enabled, right? And when you click here, you come back to live, right? Right now, for example, nothing happening there. Not a good idea to have recording all the time. So again, the best idea for the e-camera SD card setup is just to insert the card, come here, see if the card is in good condition. If it's not, you just need to format the card, right? You can format the card here. And also come here and enable the mode for activity instead of record continuously, right? So that's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.